Greetings! Stay a while and listen to me, Marauder X, as we play more Shining Soul 2. Alright, so I went ahead and put everything in storage except for the dungeon map, which will take us to the Forgotten Dungeon. So the third is the Underground Labyrinth, which we also need a map for, but those only drop off of the Reaper and Spectre enemies in Chaos Castle, or in the Ancient Ruin of Heroes. And so I could do the Ancient Ruin of Heroes, um, but apparently it's like both modes it's like one in 256 so we may not be seeing the underground labyrinth unfortunately that is a lot of grinding uh but i do want to do it because it it throws in uh a lot of interesting shining force lore uh, these three areas all kind of throw in some shining force lore uh, so yeah i i want to i kind of want to show these off but uh the the labyrinth may take a little bit of time but for now we're going to do the forgotten dungeon um which we have to have the dungeon map in our inventory and then when we go to the world map we can see it there if we take it out of our inventory it will vanish so that kind of sucks especially because inventory space is a premium uh, but once we do it that's really it we're not aiming to do it multiple times um, okay, we've got bag. I knew someone was going to show up, I just didn't know where. And we've got some guys in there, and what the hell are those? Oh god, they hurt. They hit real hard. Um... I do not like that. I don't like getting stuck on a corner. And those guys, I can't seem to kill. Because they are... But if I stay over here, they can't hit me. Um, let's go ahead and recover, because I'm... I've taken some damage. Alright. Let them do that. And... Some Chaos Knights and more of these creepy Gumby things. Die, evil Gumby. And more Chaos. Can I come down here and kill these guys? No, they dis they disappeared? Do they not count Chaos Archers? Yeah, they do count as enemies, but I guess we can't kill them. Do they show up over there? Alright, we've got... We got a ray of hope. That's. And the door opens. There's there is one treasure chest here. Um, and we have to break the fourth wall to get it. Um, we have to go over here. And a splint helm. Probably not worth it for what we're getting, but okay. Sure. Whatever. Alright, so floor two. Uh, this uh, only has five floors to it, but we'll probably it'll probably take the whole episode with the number of enemies we are going to be dealing with. Especially with these creepy gumbo things. Yeah. Eat the poison. And the stun. I may actually need to... Oh, God. Um, I don't like that. Yeah, I may need to up my intelligence a fair bit to get some more SP, especially if I'm going to be hanging out at rank 4 charge claw attacks. To deal with these evil gumbies and a valuing scroll can I attack you through there I can all right uh, let's use that valuing scroll on that splint helm splint helm of rage you would think the rage would actually do something with strength and attack but instead it just raises light and dark the 
the the prefixes and suffixes in this game make no sense, especially compared to like established dungeon explorers like Diablo. Oh god, that's a lot of enemies that I do not want to be surrounded by. Take out the one with the ranged attack. And then try to not die. I said try to not die. Ooh, okay. Let's recover, because holy crap. That was not fun. And yet there's more enemies. Like I said, this is probably going to take the whole episode just simply for the number of people we have to take out. Because there is no end in sight. But this is like the type of place you'd want to go to to power level. Had I not power leveled in other dungeons, Granted, I'm not seeming to get a lot of things. Um, oh god, I do not like how many Gumbies there are. What did you drop? You dropped a power wine? Well. And some splint armor. Now I kind of wish I had that valuing scroll back. Let's see, let's go ahead and recharge. And we are on what? Three? There's two treasure chests here, and a lot of bad guys. All right, I am not letting you all gang up on me. I don't. I don't like this. How many are there? Demented Gumbies! Okay. Who? How many were there? There's 24? Are you shitting me? 24 of those guys on this floor. Alright, um... The only two treasure chests... Well, it says that the treasure chests are up top. But I feel like they can move. I feel like that's a thing that might happen. So I, I really feel like I've actually got to explore. Otherwise, I'm going to be SOL. All right, we killed one, two. Chaos fairies aren't so bad. It's that ranged attack that that's going to get me. Come on. Yeah. Hide in the, the, the corridor. I will... I'll fight you all one at a time. Um, let's see. Why not? Alright, come on, guys. Come on down. Hang out in the corridor and fight me single file. Like you're in elementary school. And then I will destroy you. I'm only doing like 40 to 60 points of damage to these guys. Per hit. That is so wild. But hey, level up. Oh god. Yeah, you just... You just hang out there. There's going to be another one over here, isn't there? Yep. I was hoping to poison him. That's not an inconsequential amount of poison, either. Poison's not terrible. Alright. I was about to say. I don't know who's going where. Oh, you can just stay there. Alright, well, here's 
these last little groups. I was expecting more of them to pop up in the same pattern that they had been. Which means there'll be some over here. And... Attack you, and Hard Bracer. I'm getting very little in terms of new, fun equipment. Alright, so he's dead. And let's level up. I get one skill point to put somewhere. Um, two... Sure, why not? Make everything a little off, just just to mess with the OCD a little bit. All right. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, sure. This place looks fun. So obviously there's. There's this pathway, uh, but then there's going to be a whole bunch of secret pathways. If you actually want to try to find stuff. Oh god, no, no. Oh. Oh god, no. Get out of my way. Get. Get out of my way! <sighs> oh. Holy crap, I got stuck in a very narrow passage there. That was not fun at all. Okay, so here we could go up and there's that's the the exit, but we can't go that way obviously because there's a, a grate. So we have to go through a bunch of hidden pathways. All right, I am just going to I'm just going to let you take as much poison damage as possible. And then we have to work our way around. I don't like this. This feels... Alright. All right, let's heal, because holy crap. Um, where am I? Okay, I'm here, sure. And there's no treasure here. So there's like almost no point in going through half of this. I also feel like the game has gotten real stingy with treasure chests toward the end here. Like, the Volcano Dungeon had next to no treasure chests. Like, so many places had a whole bunch of, like, hidden treasure chests, like, reasons to explore. This just seems like killing monster grindy. Like, it's weird. Like, I'd imagine that if the arena offered better things, that that would make sense. But it doesn't. All right, so we go over here, and there's nothing over here, so there was no point in that. Yeah, it really feels like there should be more, but there's not. And kill all these guys. Just, yeah, you get poisoned and die. Alright, so now we're at Forgotten Dungeon 5, which is the boss, which we have two Dark Minotaurs and a dragon. Which, honestly, that sounds okay. <laughs> like, honestly. You're fighting those Mooga... Gumby guys. Also, they look very out of place. Don't they? Like, they. I feel like their sprite is unfinished. Alright, well. I actually 
probably didn't even need to do that. Yeah. Alright, really? That's all there is here? Is there nothing to do, nothing else to do in the Forgotten Dungeon? Okay, yeah, that's, that sucks. That, mm, that's disappointing. Uh, I got a couple of cards. Let's go turn on the cards. Card. Let's see. Vampire lizard. Alright, I have not gotten anything on the last few pages. The vampire lizard is it. Golem. Cerberus. Lesser demon. Rune knight. Minotaur. Viking lord. Phantom wraith. Hobbit marksman. Doll. That's what those are. Those are terrifying. Chaos fairy. So I guess that's the three fairy family. Okay, well, sure. Alright, let's see if anything opened up in the shop. Uh, do we get anything? Or are you still selling the same? Oh, no, you're selling new crap. Battle Claw and Bitch of Myth. Do you have any better armor? No, you have no deals at all. Sure. Alright, let's grab one of... My valuing scrolls. Splint armor of doom plus one. Cursed. And I'm, I'm not keeping that. Uh, everything can get sold. I can't wear the elven vest. I can't wear the bronze armor. Yeah, I'm... Mm, this mm, seems... Highly... 53 gold, because it's cursed. This all seems so highly suspect. And put the money here. And yeah, like, I, I haven't even gotten... There's uh, one other crafting material. There's bone. And yeah, I haven't... I don't think I'm going to mess with that. Um, so I guess next episode we'll start the Ancient Runes of Heroes. That, that is a much more in-depth. That's got ten floors, and the enemies are a little bit more powerful. So I'm expecting that to be a little longer. <laughs> That'll probably take about two episodes, if not more. Probably more. Um, so yeah, it's got a lot of enemies to it. Uh, I may also try to do some crafting, see if I can get something better than what I've got. I feel like I've I've kind of hit this plateau of, of equipment and armor. And, like, looking at some of these weapons, like, looking at the claws. Uh, claw level, like, Chaos Claw requires claw level 7. When am I going to get this stuff? Like, the Berserk Claw is dex plus 5, crit plus 5. I'd be okay with getting that. Um, but we are literally on the last dungeon, so, like, when am I going to be running into this? I, The Soul Claw is one of the things that I want to get. 5% of damage goes to HP. That would be wonderful. Um, but, like, Fire Claw plus 3 is crit plus 7. Bolt Claw plus 3... Or, Bolt Claw 3 is... Uh, Dexterity plus seven. Venom Claw is attack speed plus three. Like, there's all of these really awesome weapons, and none of them seem to... Like, I don't know where to get them. Like, it's it seems kind of ridiculous that I'm not getting any of these things. Um, I guess... I know I can craft a Soul Claw, but it's it's... It's hit or miss, so I might try my luck at that and see what we can do. Um, so I might do that off screen, and I'll see you all in the next installment. So, uh, till then, later everyone.